We have had a history of problems with Baltimore County. There is collusion in Baltimore County regarding police activity, regarding zoning activity, and regarding court processes. Uh, Mr. County Executive, I'm from Dundalk TV. I'd like to know if you'd like to say anything about the North Point Government Center. How you doing? Good to see you. I'm doing well. And Dundalk TV would like to just keep on following what's going on. The more that I learn about what is going on throughout Baltimore County, the more disgusted I become, and the more unbelievable it all is. Stan, let me talk for a second, okay? No, 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 it's my job to talk, your job to listen right now. And I'll listen to you. Wow, how far have we come? Two, two judges have told me it's illegal what they're doing. The information that I have and from my own experience, um, Kevin and Jim both support PUDs and they support the process. I've been accused of being anti-development. I am not anti-development. I am for the executive branch of government to follow its own laws, its own regulations, which unfortunately they don't feel that there's any reason for them to do it. And I believe that as long as the citizens don't rise up as you are doing, and, and I congratulate you for this effort. Years ago, we had a countywide organization and we were effective. And knowledge is power and your sharing of what's happening in your community with others from other communities gives you the power to do something about it. And that's so important. I was gonna speak about PUDS and Alan has done a great <laughs> job, so. What I will say to you is, in Baltimore County, PUDs were initially to be used in the growth areas. They required 200 acres. They're, the goal was we're gonna get quality development with the PUDs, whereas without the PUDs, we won't get quality development. Well, that hasn't worked out, but what it has done, it has allowed Baltimore County to use resolutions because the resolutions go to the county council members and they simply vote, yes, we certainly approve this PUD. It's gonna be wonderful because the developer is gonna give such and such to the community. And to me, that's nothing other than bribery. And why are we guilty? of bribing a developer if he's gracious and he feels that it, this cause is worthwhile. He can certainly donate it, take it off his income taxes, and it would be appreciated by the communities. But they don't do that. The developer is getting something that he wouldn't otherwise have because we go through a four-year process, just as Alan talked about. And that process sets the zoning maps, which when you go to a zoning map because you want to buy a house in that community, you can look at that map and say, oh, well, there are so many houses, da, 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 da. And unfortunately, PUDs can change all of that at the discretion of the seven-member council, regardless of what the maps say. It is automatically changed. My question has always been, well, if we're gonna do resolutions and change all of this, why do we have a planning office? Why do we have a four-year process? It's meaningless. But once again, the voices of the people have not been heard. The power in the hands of the people has not been utilized. And that's what you've got to do. I'm an advocate of term limits for legislators. I believe that they get so much power and it's very difficult to get them out of office and they, you certainly should have 
term limits on the people who are setting your laws. These are the laws. <laughs> These are the laws that we live by. And if we don't have control over who is going to pass those laws, then we are not benefiting from the people who are allegedly supposed to represent us. They just don't. When I was in office, I had a group of developers come in and they were quite upset with me and they still are, I understand. Uh, he said, with your attitude, we're not gonna have any place to develop. And I said, I don't believe that's going to really be a problem. What we want are laws that will give us quality development and that we have the, tra the roads to take care of the development and we have the schools that can handle the students. There have to be adequate public facilities, the sewers, whatever is needed for quality communities <coughs> must be maintained. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Right now in my Catonsville community, we have quite a few elementary schools that are being built and many of the people don't know where their children are going to go to middle school because we don't have the middle schools to handle the children. Where the planning is coming from, I have no idea. But it certainly is not responsible planning. There's no question of that. And until we get the right people in office, it's not going to change. But you are taking this step to get another countywide organization started. And with knowledge comes power. There's no, no doubt about that. And you have the possibility of being able to stand up in front of those seven people and say, this is what you're doing, it's wrong, now it's time for you to correct it, change it, and represent the people. James Madison said, elect your citizen representatives for short terms, and it's time that we start making them short terms. We haven't been doing that on the state level, county level, federal level but it's time that we start. I'd like to just throw out something to you. I have spoken with a couple of uh, judges, retired judges, as to the legality of sending a PUD to the council and having the maps changed by the PUD itself without addressing the whole map. And he Two, two judges have told me it's illegal what they're doing. Now, what we need is a PUD and join with the money to appeal a particular PUD and challenge it on its legality because I'm in, I'm in agreement with the two judges that what their Baltimore County is doing is literally illegal. Unfortunately, <coughs> Money plays a huge role in elections. And where the source of the monies come from, absolutely there is influence to be gained. It is money pays for a lot of the laws that are being passed to benefit the developers. <laughs>